the fact is that nobody really knows how the financial system works. Nobody really knows how the internet works. Nobody really knows um, actually even how a piece of software works these days. It used to be that one person would write a piece of software and they would have a picture. Now you write software by gluing together all these systems that you didn't write. So nobody actually understands how the program works. So, so we reached a point where our relationship with technology, I think, has really changed in a very fundamental way. I think that there was a, you know, the, the Renaissance was, the Enlightenment was actually all about, you know, we could, we could really have a rational set of rules and understand the world and control our world and, you know, put, uh, put rationality in place. And I think we're almost a, a post-Enlightenment. Hmm. Point. I think we're at the point of something I, I call the entanglement. Yes. Can which you, is, let, let's talk about that. I mean, we talked about the well, think, post enlightenment, the entanglement era. Yeah, I think, I, I, so I think the entanglement is, is the point where we have, we have created, and now our environment is a technological system, which is our creation. Mm -hmm. But in a sense, we have a, a relationship to it that's more like our relationship to the natural environment. Mm -hmm. I mean, when we lived in the jungle, we really didn't know you know, how all of the, you know, where all these animals and plants and so on came from, and we sort of made up stories and we worked out ways of sort of working out deals with them so that it worked, even though we didn't really understand them. And the whole enlightenment was the idea that, well, we could shape our environment to, it could be designed, it could be what we want, it could have a set of rules. And so we were living with the consequences of our own rationality. Well, now, I think it's, it's reached such a level of complexity that it's more like we're back to the jungle again. This is, technology is something to kind of negotiate with and sort of imagine and you know, we, can, we can force it to do something if we really concentrate on that, but then some unknown pops up over here. And so I think our relationship with it is, is fundamentally different now and that becomes the limit for world changing ideas is not, I mean, now that we live in this world with all these high IQ people with low friction ways of communicating and so on, the, the bottleneck isn't the generation of ideas. The, the bottleneck is our ability to absorb them and into that system without breaking the system and without breaking ourselves.